Yo, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another exciting episode. So right now, it's spring, man. I'm gonna tell you what, spring is probably the hardest time to fish. The reason why is because you're competing against small little fries that just hatch. So think about it, right? If you have a bay or marsh system that's full of these small little miniature clear minnows, whatever you wanna call them, of course, the predatory fish like redfish, flounder, speckled trout are gonna go ape crazy. You know what I'm talking about? I mean, they're gonna fill their fill, get what they need because there's plenty of food out there. So therefore you're competing against these guys. So what is a plan? The plan today is gonna to be using small little lures at this one spot that I've had fairly good success with, but you know, spot's a spot, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not, but we're gonna try our best to use small little lures, gulp, small ultra light BFS stuff to target these finicky, very picky predatory fish and rightfully so because there's a lot of bait out there. But anyways guys, let's see if we can get you a good video today. As I stated, man, we're going to be targeting this predatory finicky fish competing against small little baits. So we're going to be using, of course, one of my favorite lures to use when fishing is pretty tough is gulp. Gulp alive. This is right here, the three inch paddle shad morning glory. If you're looking to purchase this, there's a direct link description box below. We're going to be using this small little miniature uh, it looks like a little bait fish that we're going to be seeing a lot in the marsh. So yeah, let's see what happens. Got my old 18 suppressor BFS. Got the Daiwa Alphas Air TW that we're going to start off with. Got a small little jig head here. Everything that you want, discount codes, all that for the equipment I'm using. It's linked in the description box below. And I think we have an outgoing tide if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, there's a drop off from like one to five feet. So I'm going to see if there might be some speckled trout here and there kind of roaming around. It's glass because we don't have much wind, but it'll pick up later. However, I don't see any bait. That's kind of a concern early in the morning. Usually you see a lot of bait jump in and activity. Seagulls kind of work in the water a little bit. So yeah, I think it'll be all right though. It's still kind of early. Yeah, super excited, man. But look at this beautiful creation by God almighty, wondrous. Look at that, it's so great to be out. Just gonna kind of blind cast here. It's not deep at all, make sure my drag is set there. Oh wow, okay, I'm already on. <laughs> That's not good when you catch a fish on your first cast, dude. It feels like a trout. Yeah, first cast, man. Actually, it might be a redfish, the way he's pulling. That's crazy, like right here. <laughs> okay. No, I'm not kidding, man. I was not expecting that. I was just kind of just casting, just to cast. Just get, man, it's a, it's a good oh fish. It's a good fish. Yeah, it's a good fish. I think it's going to be a keeper red. I need him to work his way back. There he comes. So we don't stretch and break that line. There he is. I think so. Feels like it. I don't know if that's good news or bad news. Yeah, I'm not sure, man. I don't know how to answer. No, it's a <laughs> it's a gaff top, bro. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Slimy bugger. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a good one. They fight pretty good. Take them home, eat them. Catch and cook. Catch and cook gaff top, huh? Get out of here. Look at that. That looks like, uh, yeah, guys, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, usually, uh, it's not good. It's not good luck to catch on your first cast, right? Let alone a gaff top on your first cast. I don't know what to say about that, man. Uh, at least they're hitting a the small lure. I think that's a red, bro. Right up to your uh, 11 o'clock. I think that's a red. You see it cruising in that water right there? You see him? You see him? Right there, right in front of you, man. Yeah, all the way over there. No, no, to your left. Look, to your left. To your left in that grass. You see him? See that wake? 
more year 11 o'clock 11 o'clock you see that trash in the water right there yeah. right next to it swimming right by it it's a nice wake it's good uh i got my buddy marcus over there he's cruising the shoreline i see a, some bait moving in that shoreline that probably tells me it's a small little fry but it's good to look at the shoreline at this time of year because you'll see the redfish chasing those little fries and getting their grub on early in the morning breakfast There we go. Got something on. It feels like a feels like a redfish. Oh, it's a nice speck. That was a red. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna be here. I think so. They're loving the small little lure. A little nice fish. Hey, no blue tail. <laughs> Oh, nice blup right there. Like right here. There we go. We got him. I saw you there, buddy. I saw you there. I saw you there. You gave yourself away. That's a good keeper red. That's a good keeper red. Like right here. <laughs> nice. For sure, that's not a gaff top. <laughs> we got you, bud. We got you. We got you. Marcus is on too. Nice. Oh yeah. Nice redfish. On the BFS. Love it, man. Love it. Yeah. 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 All right. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Giving yourself away like that, my man. Going to get yourself caught by the RX Angler. Uh, I usually don't prefer myself to, to the third person, but, or first person, third person. <laughs> but yeah, look at that, man. He's probably right at 21 inches. Beautiful redfish. Gave my BFS rod a fight. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful specimen right there. Man, really happy. Thank you so much, bud. We're going to take a couple pics for Instagram, for the gram, and let you go. That's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. First fish, plan is coming to fruition once again. Small little bait lures is going to do the job. BFS, man, using small ultralight finesse stuff. So much fun to catch fish. What you got, Marcus? A redfish? Hurry up, man, reel them in. <laughs> he caught him on BFS, how you like that? BFS is here to stay, man. Lift them up. 23 inches. Very good. Another nice wake right there. I think that's bait fish. But you know what? We don't discriminate. We'll catch bait fish. <laughs> oh, sh look at that red. Right over there. Redfish. Redfish. Right in that water there. There he is. Gosh. Couldn't be so more apparent. There he is. Gosh, that was a nice redfish. There we go. Oh, it's a nice speck. That was it was a speck, not a freaking red. I was like in that grass. It's crazy. Dang, that was crazy, dude. Oh, I was. Yeah, he was in the grass. I thought it was a red. That's a nice, healthy one, too. Probably about 17 inches all day. Once again, on a small little lure there. Big, thick guy. Girl. Beautiful. Once again, about 17 inches. <laughs> I know. Life is good, right? Man, what an awesome freaking start. My boy Marcus right there. He's catching fish. I'm catching fish. Another blow up up there. It's coming alive. It's coming alive. The small bait fish, man, have hatched. These predatory fish are gorging themselves, probably recuperating from the winter freezes and the cold water temps that brought, um, you know, the water temps down during, during the winter. Uh, but yeah, man, we're going to still catch some fish. Man, I'm so close to the Texas lamb. I don't want to jinx it, but I probably just did. One flounder. Man, the water clarity is good, bro. Real clean. Hold on, man. Let's. Oh, here we go. 
Yeah, baby. That's what I was talking about. Drains. This feels like a flounder. This feels like a flounder. This feels like a flounder. Show yourself. And it's a gaff top. <laughs> yeah, another gaff top, man. <laughs> Richard, you want a gaff top? There we go. That felt good. Seems like a speck. Yeah. A nice, another good. Oh yeah. Oh, it's a. I don't know. Speck or red? I think it's a good speck. Oh yeah, that's a good speck. Good speck. Oh, he got off. Oh, man. I got stuck on my little camera here. Oh, there we go. There we go. Nice, nice. It's a red. I'm gonna be a Louisiana slot. Nonetheless, got him. Oh yeah, Louisiana red all day long. Thank you, buddy. There we go. Spoke spoon. Spoke soon. Spoke soon. I think it's another red fish, yeah. Nice fish. Multi spotter. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's a keeper. Oh yeah. Oh wow. There he goes. There he goes. Yeah, I fucking cast at the same time as you, bro. <laughs> oh wow, he got some pull. Oh, that's a big uh, boy. Yeah, that's a big boy. BFS, baby. BFS. I'll take you out. <laughs> love it, man. Love it. It's a guard. <laughs> Don't hate, man. All right, let me pass you. Oh, oh shit. Come under. Oh, nice fish. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Gotcha, buddy. Gotcha. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. Woo. Hoo -hoo. Oh, that's a tank, man. Probably 25 inches all day. Multi spotter. Right and left side, as you see right here. Let me get that focus here. Look at that fish, gentlemen. That's a nice freaking marsh red. Man, catching on the small lures, man. I've been telling you, uh, springtime, bunch of hatchlings, small lures, way to go, and that's how you catch these big fish. Yeah, six pounds on the dot. He's probably close to 25. There you are. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Heck of a day, man. Caught like four or five keepers, man. I mean, what a great day of fishing. Spending it with good people, good time, enjoying the Gulf Coast. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Real fast, let me show you exactly what I'm using because I know a lot of you guys are actually new to the channel. So let's switch it to the B camera. All right, so once again, we got the old 18 suppressor BFS rod, ultra light. Really, really great rod. Very sensitive, as you can see, we pulled in a lot of donkeys today. And uh, you can use my discount code RXAngler20. There's a direct link in the description box below. The reel we're using is the Daiwa Alphas Air TW BFS reel from uh, digitaka.com. Uh, send me a DM through Instagram for um, the latest coupon because they send me coupons, but they expire, I think like one or two months later. And I don't know when you're gonna be watching this video. But anyways, yeah, send me a DM via Instagram. Follow me on Instagram and I'll send you a discount code for Digitaka. I'm using Verivus 1.2 gauge braided eight line. At the end, it's gonna be 12 pound fluorocarbon leader from Verivus. Also, there's a discount code for Verivus in the description box below. And last but not least, oh yeah, last but not least, we're using the micro paddle tail from Gulp Lures. As you can see, caught a lot of fish on it today with a small little jig head. There's direct links to buy that in the description box below. 
Yeah guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. I had a great time exploring this backpack marsh. Probably one of my favorite places to fish all over the Texas coast. Beautiful area. But yeah, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. I love every single one of you guys. Thank you so much for the support. And we'll catch you on the next one.